today we're going to look at building a project in Aspire. So we start with a new project, just click here or just open Aspire, give it a name. So this one's for Acme Company, Proprietary Limited. We're going to document um, a location. We're going to put down a contact for basically this is a person connected to the project um, on behalf of the company that we can talk to. So in our case we're going to say it's John Smith and we might have put a number here so we'll give him We're going to leave the installer alone for the moment, we're not quite sure who's going to install it, but we're going to put our own name down here. It's the person who did the calculations. Um, the dates today's date, we can change if we want to, but usually don't need to. Now these two settings here are important. Um, they dictate the type of bends and other components we use. They're set up here under the preferences, and they really need to be set before we even create the project. So it's set on this page here. The altitude um, is really only important where you've got considerable altitude, so it's something like La Paz at 4,000 metres, you definitely want to enter that. Um, for a lot of other cities where you're at sea level or close to sea level, you don't need to bother. And <coughs> the set of hole sizes basically lists the type of drill bits that the installer is going to use. So we've defined the project, let's add some detectors. So we're going to consider a building that's got both warehouse and office, so let's start by adding a detector. So we're going to add a detector here, or we can go to the insert menu, but uh, it's probably the easiest. you notice when we do that, the detector appears down the bottom here. This 3D view will update as we um, develop the design. And let's just give it a name. So we're going to put this in warehouse, so we might as well just name it as that. Um, and in being the warehouse, we're going to need a fair bit of um, a fair bit of power so we're going to turn it right up and um, they're probably about the main things we need to set here um, temperature fire threshold we can change those if we want to but the fire threshold defaults to a value based on type of detector so we'll leave this one for a moment let's go and add some pipes to this so we'll start by we can add a pipe network there again we can go to the insert menu and add it there same thing but we'll go back here add, add a pipe there uh, let's add a simple branch and again we're given a whole lot of um, basic uh, definitions. We're going to make this a bit longer here so we're going to make this one here 20 metres and you'll notice when we did that that the number of holes here increased number of sample points. So number of sample points is the number of holes and the two end caps because the end caps also act as sample points. So uh, let's see the first hole position. Yep, we're happy with all that. So uh, we can go onto this other screen here if we want to and allow us to set default hole sizes. Probably the main thing we set there. If we're using capillaries, then we can go into these fields here as well. <coughs> the ambient pressure is really for the case where your pipe network's in a different room with a different with a pressure differential from where the detector is. Leave it like that, and here we go. Here's a whole lot of our holes that are there. And you'll notice down here, we've actually got our pipe network here, and you can see all the holes along there. Um, now, if we decide that we actually need to have bigger spacing between our holes, instead of, say, one metre, let's go to two metres, and we can go and just edit this cell here, make it two. Um, what we can then do is we want to make all the others two as we can just paste down. So we can just go here and you'll see that these are now all pasted down and we've got our longer pipe here and you can see the spacing has increased there. Um, same deal here if we decided uh, we didn't really want to go three, we want to go two and a half mil and we can type that in here. We can paste that down as well and we've now got two and a half mil all the way down to the end cap. So it's quite easy to um, add and set up your pipe. So we've got set up one there, let's go and let's give this pipe maybe a different name. So let's rename it. Um, for the moment we'll just say this is say down the north. 
building and um, we actually want to do it in a similar pipe on the south building so all we can do is just copy that so we drag it hold the control key down to get the plus let go um, and there's our copy and you'll see that it looks basically the same as the first one if you look there uh, we're getting both pipes we're going to give this a different name um, and we're going to put this on the south side so let's just call it that so here we've gone and created <coughs> detector with a couple of pipes uh, let's go and add our detector for the um, actually no before we do that we'll add one more pipe here go back up here let's add a pipe here and we're going to put this down the on the east side and um, leave all those settings there and again we're going to rename this and this is going to be um, the east um, entrance so we've got our detector here let's let's add a detector for the office so we're going to put this time we're going to pick a different detector we'll pick the VEP uh, we'll run that not quite so hard and uh, let's let's off, mark that off as being in the office so you know what we're talking about and again we need to add some pipes to this side so we'll add a simple branch pipe um, leaving pretty much the default values for this one and um, we'll add one more pipe for that as well and uh, we'll just add another one there and what we'll do with this pipe is we'll actually go and uh, have that going back so we'll <coughs> and you'll see now that we've got one pipe feeding backwards the other one feeding forwards um, so it's as simple as that to create a design um, if we want to actually look at this design in more detail we can pop this window out <coughs> and um, look at that window there and we can enlarge that and that will give us a much better view um, or if we get tired doing that of course we can always essentially close it and it drops back to this being docked back within the main window um, we can also duplicate so suddenly we need another office a duplicate office so the next floor up we can take that detector there um, and again if we drag and drop with the um, column down the control key we get the plus um, and we can we can then duplicate that <coughs> we can duplicate it by doing copy and then um, doing a paste insert and that basically completes our design